Hello, welcome. Uh, in this video, we're looking at Khan Academy. We're looking at trigonometry. And under trigonometry with general triangles, past the law of sines and cosines, we have uh, general triangle word problems. So there's a whole bunch of stuff in here. Let's try some out. So in all of these problems, um, I encourage you to pause the video, look through the problem, and think about what the most efficient way would be to solve the problem. So starting this one, pause it, give it a shot. It's either going to be a law of cosines or sines kind of problem. All right, so I actually, maybe this is wrong. I'm just gonna skip over all of this stuff right here. Um, I notice I have a diagram. <coughs> and they have, even though they've written this long problem that I don't feel like reading, they've given us a really nice diagram to work with. And this question mark tells me I'm solving for this angle right here. And the one thing I'm going to do, uh, I'm going to note that we're given three sides, right? We're given a side and a side and a side. So this first example, I'm going to write this down, is a side, side, side situation. And that means I'm going to use the law of cosines. And now don't worry, you don't have to memorize that. If you try and use the law of sines, you could try it out. I encourage you to do that if you're, if you're not convinced. Try and find a way to set this up using the law of, of sines. You can't do it. Without any angles, there's not enough information to set it up. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to rename this from T. Now, you don't have to do this part, but it helps me. I'm going to name it B. And this is C. Cross that out. So um, I know I'm interested in this angle, angle C. And that means that this is going to be side C. This is going to be side B. And this is side A. That helps me use the generic form of the equation that c squared, that's the side squared, equals a squared plus b squared, my Pythagorean theorem, minus 2abc cosine of angle c. Now I'm trying to find angle c, so I'm going to isolate it. I'm going to algebraically subtract a squared and b squared. Right? I want to know what this angle is. And divide by negative 2ab. And that would be the cosine of c. The only thing left here is the cosine of c. But we want to know what angle C equals, so we take the inverse cosine of both sides. So the inverse cosine of this whole thing. And if you take the inverse cosine of this side right here, you get C, angle C. So this would solve for angle C in one step. So I encourage you, plug in A equals 60, B equals 50, C equals 15. You could even try to do it all in one shot. You should get in the end that angle C is about, and they want us to round to the nearest degree. So I got 11.7. So to the nearest degree, it would be 12. So check your calculations, and uh, when you're, if you're trying to set it all up at once, I would make sure to put this in parentheses on your calculator. But you should get 11.7. So keep playing around with that and see if you can do it. Okay, next problem. So maybe pause the video, give this one a shot, see if you can set it up, and then press play, and we'll solve it together. Okay, so again, I'm skipping the text. And all I, I saw is, is the word laser. Okay, so that's kind of cool. I'm thinking about lasers now. And now I'm thinking that this question mark must represent that laser. Let me get red. Okay, this laser right here. So we don't know how long that side length is. And what are we given, though? We're given not three sides. We're giving angle, side, angle. So in that case... You can try to set the law of cosines, um, but that's not going to be helpful because you need at least two sides in the law of cosines, so it's not going to work. This is going to end up being a law of sines problem. And so we want to set it up. So I, I, they've got Matt, Ryan, and the robot here. I'm just going to call this um, A. So this is side A now. That helps me. I'm going to call this B, cross out Ryan there, we don't need that. So this is side B. And then I'm going to call with a robot is C, which makes this 146 side length C. So my law of sine says the sine of angle A, which we were calling 34 here, over the missing side length. So I'm going to kind of reverse that. I, for my law of sines, I'm going to put, remember, law of sine, I'm just going to write it out, sine of A 
over A equals the sine of B over B. The big capital letters are angles, the lowercase and the bottom are side lengths, equals the sine of C over C. It's also true that A over the sine of A equals, I wrote a C here for some reason, sorry, B over the sine of B equals C over the sine of C. I'm going to use this version right here because we're missing a side length. I like to keep my unknowns in my numerator. So side length A, the laser path, over the sine of 34 has to equal, now you can't use this angle because you're also missing the side length here. right? So if you try setting it up, you get B over the sine of 120. <coughs> you got two variables to solve for, it's not going to work. So we have to use our third angle and our triangle. And that's this angle right here has to be the full triangle degree, 180 minus 120 minus 34. So the sine of C is really just the sine of that expression, 180 minus 120 minus 34. And then, but we have side length C is 146. So take a moment, try and solve that. You should get that uh, A in this case is 186 to the nearest meter. And that makes sense in terms of this problem. You've got 146 here. You can imagine that this might be longer. It might be 186. Okay, hope that helped. Let's go to the next one. So again, pause it, take a minute, try and solve it. Okay, so we've got, what do we have here? Side, angle, side. So side, angle, side, it's going to be a law of cosines problem. And we're trying to find this missing side right here. Okay, so so I'm gonna call, I'm gonna rename this. I'm gonna call this a. So that's angle a. So we're missing side length a. I'm gonna call this b. So that's angle b. A point b. So angle b is right here. And this is side length b. And then I'm gonna call this c, which makes this side length c. And I want to find the side A. So A squared equals B squared plus C squared minus 2BC cosine of angle A. This is the law of cosines set up in such a way that we can solve for side A. And to find A, we're going to take the square root right, of B squared plus C squared minus 2BC cosine A. And take a moment. Plug in the values of B, C, and A. Make sure you're in degree mode. Pause it if you don't want, don't want to see the answer. But to the nearest tenth, you should get 25.6. So in these problems, I try to identify, again, what I'm given to that steers me towards the law of cosines or sine, law of sines. I try to relabel my triangles using A, Bs, and Cs. And then I go from there. And that strategy tends to work in these problems. Like in this one right here, take a moment, give it a shot, and then press play when you're ready to solve it with me. I like this problem because uh, I don't have to read the text. Is that wrong? I don't know. But the idea is I need to find this side length. I know it because there's a question mark there. I also know it's an angle side angle problem. So I'm going to be able to use my law of sines law of sines and I'm going to call I like that they labeled it a B and this would be C so here the sine uh, well side length a is my unknown I'll put that up top divided by the sine of angle a which is 96 has to equal it could be you could try and write B over the sine of B but we don't have sine length B so that information is missing so we have to use this angle here so Side length C we have, okay, it's 145, and you, you want to use what you have. And the sine of C, that angle, has to be the full triangle measure, 180 minus the two angles we have, 96 and 58. So I encourage you to take a moment, solve this proportion. What you would do, solve for A, is you'd have the sine of 96, you're going to multiply it by this side, times 145, divided by the sine of 180 minus 96 minus 58. And then that's going to get about 329 to the nearest meter. So 329. All right. Hope this helped.